Clive Davis documentary, Clive Davis, the soundtrack of our lives, is going to debut exclusively in the iTunes Music Store on October 3rd. There was a theatrical release on September 27th, and everybody is pretty excited around here at Dish Nation because we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Clive Davis, sitting oh, right here. Can you believe it? Ridiculous. Is that crazy? I, it's not even real to me. You know, we we Can watch. I touch you, sir. <laughs> He's real. He's real. Things He's are here. getting weird. Things He's are here. getting weird. I got to tell you, obviously, it's an honor for us to meet you because, I mean, almost every piece of music that you listen to, Clive Davis, you've touched in some way. Look, deep down, we all wanted to be Clive Davis. The greatest record man of all time. Travis Joplin. Paul Simon. Miles Davis. Bruce Springsteen. Aretha. The Grateful Dead. Carlos Santana. Tony Braxton. TLC. Usher. Lou Reed. Billy Joel. Maroon 5. Whitney Houston. Alicia Keys. Now, what inspired you to make this film? Did it, was it your idea to say, you know what? I need to be in the spotlight, <laughs> finally. Or is it no, no, someone no, coming no. to you? I to had um, an autobiography just three years ago. And... Contrary to all music books, this shot to the top of the New York Times nonfiction bestseller list. I felt that a documentary made sense. Did you journal your whole life, or how did you even remember certain things that happened? You know, I became a lawyer, and by luck, I became a lawyer, the lawyer for Columbia Records. And five years in that position, overnight, I became president. A year and a half after I became head of the company, then I'm sitting in the audience and seeing Janis Joplin. So it was at that moment that truthfully if the word epiphany has any meaning it took over me is there a song that stands out for you if there was a song that represented your life it's going to sound a little cliche <laughs> i'd like to think that the spirit behind the song i did it my way might be um on the biographical side. That's a side. good one. I so would have thought you were going to go with TLC's Don't Go Chasing Waterfall. <laughs> I was wrong. It happens. I was wrong. That <laughs> is funny. <laughs> now, a lot of times in the music industry, we hear the, the they have the it factor. What is that for you? The basic criterion would be the artist should just take the audience out of their seats and get a standing ovation. But if their writing, the writing of Springsteen, the writing of Alicia Keys, the writing of Patti Smith is so riveting, so chilling, so affecting, of course, that's going to influence that you have an incredible uh, talent. You know, one part of the documentary that I enjoyed was uh, Alicia Keys, and she said that uh, you know that, that Clive is into it when the crescendo of the sh song is coming, and you put that Clive Davis finger in the air. <laughs> that's how you know you got it. We right haven't there. seen the finger today, Frank. We this show never comes to a crescendo. <laughs> it flattens out, and then that then the the end of the show. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for it's coming. An honor. It's, a, yeah, oh, it's a pleasure dude. to meet you. Clive Davis, the soundtrack of our lives. Again, October 3rd on Apple Music. Go watch it. Do not miss it. Fantastic. Thank you so much. My pleasure to you both. Thank you. We thank still you. didn't get the finger. Come on, give us the finger. <laughs> yeah! not, that, not that finger. We're on TV. There we go. Not that finger. There we go. Thank you.